Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys the weekly soul connection reading. And so this is going to be for today's date, which is Monday, February 10th, going all the way until Sunday, February 16th. So this could be for any kind of a soul connection that you feel with another person, but I do tend to channel for those that are in some sort of separation and or challenge. So today's reading, we're going to be doing a pick a message style. So I will put the timestamps down below, but they're going to be represented here by the beautiful nudes that were created by my friend. And Michelle from Wing and Bell. So number one right here is the goddess Aphrodite. Number two is the mystic moon nude. And number three is goddess or goddess, goddess Lakshmi. So you guys can make your choices based on what you guys, you know, like, like you see here or just based on the numbers. So either way, there's no right or wrong way to go about it. And all the decks that I'm gonna be using here today, I will go ahead and list everything down below, but rather than going through it three separate times, I'm just gonna tell you guys what I'm using right now. So I'm gonna be sharing a bunch of decks with each particular choice, but I do have three specific tarot decks that I'm going to be switching out. So that way each, um, you know, each spread has its own fresh deck. So three decks here that I'm going to be using are all from Chiro Marchetti. Number one's choice is going to be the tar uh, Tarot of Dreams. Number two is going to be the Tarot Grand Lux. And number three is going to be Legacy of the v Divine Tarot. So I'm going to be giving each particular choice their own tarot deck. So let me go ahead and go through the rest. If you're not interested, just go straight down below. So um, this particular deck is a deck that I got a long time ago. I think I got it at Borders Bookstore when they were still in business, which was a hell of a long time ago. I don't even know what the heck this is called. It was literally, it, it was like a little tiny um, paper pamphlet thing that came with this deck. It's a very small deck. But I don't know, I was just feeling it this week for Valentine's Day. I think it's called Messages of Love. And I don't even know if it's still in print. I don't have the booklet anymore, just the card. So I apologize, you guys, but that's what it looks like. And then this deck is kind of interesting. This one was actually featured at the Dollar Tree, but you can get it online. I think that you can actually get it off of Amazon. So again, I'll put the link down below, but it's pretty cool because it goes through past, present, and future. So you guys will see how I'm gonna use that today. Um, I'm also going to be using these decks that I created. This is my Twin Flame um, or Oracle and my Twin Flame Journey Tarot. For the messages from your person, I'm really loving this deck right now. It is called the Angelic Revelation 144 Naked Flame Healing Messages. So uh, this is Rachel and she has her own YouTube channel. Um, this is a cool deck too. I love to use this around Valentine's Day. It's called the French Vintage Stamp Love Oracle. It can be found, I'll put that down below. This is kind of an interesting deck. It's called the Love, no. The answer deck. Sorry, I got so many decks. I don't even know what the hell they're called anymore. But the um, the answer deck, and this one's a little pricey that I've noticed, and it's not really the best quality deck, but it's kind of cool messages. Anyways, um, you can find those too. I'm also going to be using my spirits of darkness and light divination deck. Messages of love. I just freaking love these cards by All Things Intuitive. And um, these, this card is, or this deck is pretty cool. This is called the Mystically Amazing Spirit Cards, and it's kind of like a Ouija board. No, we're not tapping into any kind of crazy evil energy, okay? Um, but we're just going to be picking up on some numbers and some letters that might be associated with the message or initials or something that you need to hear today. And then I'm going to be getting um, some angelic messages using my Chunks of Doreen Virtues cards. What I like to do is I like to take all of her decks and put them together, and then I just ran randomly grab cards. So we're going to be doing that at the very end for a special message from your angels and guides. So let's get started, you guys. We're going to start off with number one. Okay, for those of you guys that chose number one or this uh, goddess Aphrodite nude, let's go ahead and get into your messages. So the very first thing that we're going to focus on, you guys, is what is the main energy of this connection right now when it comes to this week? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this deck here. What is the main energy of this connection this week? Main energy of this connection this week. For those of you that chose number one, we have idealized love. 
So idealized love just might mean that we are really in our headspace about this particular connection. We're very much like this is our ideal partner. This is what we think about. This is all we think about. It could be that we have a lot of ideas about this love, whether or not this is you know accurate. We still have a lot of ideas about this person. So we're going to go ahead and clarify this energy. Why is this love idealized this week? Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands. What's interesting here is that we have a burdensome energy here. It's very exhaustive. So it could be that we had, a, we had an idea about this connection. We've had an idea about this person. They've had an idea about us, but something happened, okay? This is like Pat's energy for me. Something happened that created like the straw that finally broke the camel's back. It was just too much to hang on to. It could have been too intense. It could have been like it was a great idea to begin with, but as you guys tried to make this connection work, it's just something that just wouldn't work for whatever reason. There could have been too many out, outer circumstances too many responsibilities, something. So it just kind of like sucked the life out of this connection. So the connection this week is a little heavy. Um, the energy of this connection is kind of idealized, kind of like it would be so great or it would be so nice if all of these things weren't factors, all of these things were not an issue. Okay. So it's kind of like, it would have been so great. What, what could have been is what I'm getting here for this particular energy. So let's go ahead and go into the past energies and see what is affecting this connection. Okay. So past energies that are still affecting this connection today. So you guys will see how this deck is used. So do you see how it says past, present, future? So we're just going to read the past here. Hope seemed completely lost. Whoa. <laughs> do you see what I'm talking about? It's literally all coming together already with these messages here. This, there was a lot of, um, a lot of hope. What I'm getting here is that when you and your person came together and you guys met, it, it was like you felt this insane connection with them and they could have felt this insane connection with you. And it just seemed so hopeful. It just seemed like it was just a great idea at the time, but something happened here. Something got really heavy, really quick, or just, there was a lot of outer circumstances that really kind of put the nail in the coffin for this connection. It doesn't mean it can never be resurrected or anything like that, but it just means that something happened where people lost hope. People some, somehow it says hope seemed completely lost. It's almost like you met this person and you felt like, oh my gosh, dream come true. The, this is the answer to my prayers. This was like the perfect partnership. It was everything that you guys were looking for, but something got in the way. Something heavy, heavy got in the way. That's what I'm seeing here. So let's grab an energy here and see what's going on in the present energies. Okay. What are the present energies? So we're going to use actually the same deck here. We're going to go into the present energies of your person and you, and then we're going to go ahead and get into the specifics of what this person is feeling towards you this week. So this person's energy this week in their present energy, just their overall energy. We have the chariot. It says present energy, taking control of the situation. So your person is taking control perhaps of their life. They're taking control of their destiny, their responsibilities, etc. What is your energy here at this week, your overall energy presently? We have Queen of Wands. It says you are feeling a new ambitious drive. So what's great is that these two cards um, are very much in alignment with one another. Both people feel pretty confident. Both people are very driven to, let's just say, end a burdensome cycle, maybe take things to the next level. So let's just see how this all pans out. So we're going to grab these energies here of what is your person feeling and thinking when it comes to you, what's effect affecting them, all of that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and go into this deck here. And we're going to clarify with the tarot. So what is your person, what, it, what does the energy look like when your person thinks about you, when they have you in their headspace, their thoughts? We have received. So they're receiving some sort of an energy here. They're receiving something. What about their emotions? What does their emotions look like this week? We have awakening. Interesting. And what is their outer circumstances? We have hold. So there could be something that's still causing them to hesitate when it comes to taking control of the situation. So they may want to, but there might be something that's still affecting them. And then we have this energy here. Their overall energy towards you is surrender. So let's clarify this. What's going on here? They might be surrendering to how they, dr how they truly feel about you. Maybe they couldn't before. Maybe it was too intense before. 
or maybe they're feeling like it's best to just kind of let things go for now and just see what happens. Let's clarify received. What is the energy of received? What are they receiving this week mentally about you? Okay, look at this, you guys. They are definitely receiving your energy. The queen of wands is feeling good. The queen of wands is feeling very ambitious, very confident. And so what happens is that this makes her very magnetic. People pick up on her vibes. They pick up on her energies, whatever she's sending out, they're feeling it in a very positive way. So I feel like your person this week, you guys is really feeling your very confident newfound energy. They're feeling really good about your energy. That's what I'm seeing here. That's just being confirmed. And it could be one of the reasons why they're starting to perhaps think about how they want to take control and do something with this connection. That could be it. So what is this awakening energy? Let's clarify this awakening energy in their heart space. Oh, look at this activation and awakening. When I created this card in this tarot deck, it was literally one of my awakening cards. It means like we're, we're activated on our journey. Okay. Awakening. So your person has been activated perhaps by your newfound energy. Maybe you were in some lower vibrational energy before, and now you have found a way to switch your vibration. They are feeling it. You're drawing your person in rather than chasing them. If that's something that you've been doing before, you've just kind of focused on your own thing. You're doing you. This is drawing this person into your energy field. Do you get it? So they are feeling some kind of activation and activity in their heart space. So what's going on in their physical world that may be affecting this? Let's take a look. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there could be some things that are on hold because it says pause. There could be some things on hold. It could be work-related situations. It could be responsibility, something about the material world. Maybe they've just started a business or they've just started a new job. Maybe they are taking their investments and they're trying to be wise within their decisions. So it could just be that they're maybe not 100% ready to make any moves in the physical world towards you, but they're certainly feeling your energy is what I am getting. So now we have the energy of surrender. Okay. So you look at this. If you're, a, if you're a feminine person watching this video, a feminine energy because of the queen of wands here, this is to me, double confirmation that you might be a feminine watching this because you've surrendered them and you've just kind of gone into your inner knowingness and you have refused to get sideswiped by your ego because you've done this. Your person has felt that you've let them go. You've let go of expectations, perhaps of ever seeing them again. You've let go of expectations of how this needs to go. They have felt this energetic letting go from your side of the, of this, of the energy. So now, it's like you're drawing them in secretly and maybe you don't even realize that you've done it, but you're doing it. So surrender their overall energy towards you is they feel like that you let them go. You're a mystery to them now. You are a mystery to this person. And because of this, now they are drawn to make moves towards you. Do you see how that energy works? So sometimes when we're super hyper-focused on something, we're hyper-focused on it. We want it so badly. Sometimes it just doesn't happen because we have too much energy invested, too much attachment to it. There's too much nervousness of what if we don't get it? What if it doesn't happen? Sometimes that could literally kill the energy vibe. But when you just let go and you just focus on yourself and do your own thing, it's amazing how things just come back around. So that's what I'm seeing here with this. So that is the present energy here of what your person is feeling towards you. So why don't we take a look and get a message here from their higher self. So the deepest part of themselves, this is a message that they have for you. What does this person want to say to you right now? I feel you get in bed with me at night and hold me. I am comforted by your loving presence. So that could be a significant message for you guys. If you have energetically been with your person, meaning that you feel their energy at night, especially you, you may go to bed at night and you might envision that this person and you are wrapped up together. They're feeling your energy. Do you see what I'm saying? Your energy is so freaking on fire right now that it's influencing their energy field. They feel you. They feel you at night with them, holding them, comforting them. They feel your energy on a completely different level. 
if your person was running away from you before, what I'm getting is that they're no longer in that energy of being repelled by your energy if they've been in that energy field. They're in an energy now where they want to come towards you. It's now beckoning them. It's, it's mag, they're like, you're drawing them in like a magnet now. You're not repelling them with your energy. You have found a way to change this energy up and it's benefiting you now. <laughs> this is pretty cool, you guys. I really like this a lot. All right, so let's move on into the next phase of this reading and go into the current lessons that um, are being experienced right now. So what are the overall lessons here, the current lessons for ascension and moving forward? Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're gonna get this overall energy here using the, I already went through the deck's name, so I'm not gonna say it again. So here we go. What is the overall lesson here? at this particular time that's being experienced in this connection. Uh-huh, look at that power. We're realizing just how powerful we really are. Energy is everything. Energy is everything. Energy doesn't lie. Words, we can say things all day long, but if the energy behind it isn't really felt, we can say, I forgive you, but we really don't mean it. Words are nothing. You know, we can say we feel good, we feel confident, I'm empowered. But if we're really not feeling that way, that's not what the energy is exuding out to other people. People can energetically feel things. So I'm feeling here when it comes to the lessons and the ascension process at this particular time, this power energy, this, this feminine's energy, Queen of Wands two times and the High Priestess confirms for me that this is a feminine's powerful energy is changing and shaping and molding this connection so be very careful with your powerful energy because it can go both ways it can create or it can destroy okay so let's get three cards here and see what's going on we have happiness great we have battle and we have scandal that's really interesting. So let's take a look. There's certain words I say all the time. Interesting. <laughs> I just can't stop myself from saying it. So let's go ahead and clarify with this. We're going to use uh, the, this tarot. Happiness. Power. We have the power to create happiness. We absolutely do. We have the power to create happiness. Happiness and joy. Let's clarify it. Beautiful. This right here is the Hierophant's energy. The Hierophant is all about um, our, our, like our belief systems. It's all about our spirituality. It's all about having faith in something. So when we have faith in ourselves and we also have faith in the universe that whatever is meant for us is going to just be delivered. And it doesn't mean that we sit back and we do nothing. We do have to co-create with spirit, but it's definitely this energy of saying that, you know, that inner knowingness, having faith, having faith that we have the power to create our own happiness. This is definitely coming through. So this is about staying in your faith, staying in your truth, doing what's right for you. I sometimes see the Hierophant as sometimes people can try to take us off of our path and get us involved in things that don't feel right for us, that don't match up with our values. Get involved in scandals, things that we don't want to be a part of. And sometimes we do it out of peer pressure or low self-esteem or out of desperation. But this is about staying in your own truth and your own power at this particular time. So there's a, there's a lesson here. And maybe before you guys have had to fall, maybe before people also, your, your person that you're watching this video for, maybe they've had to succumb to certain things in order to learn a major lesson here. So let's get the energy of battle. Palace of Cups. So the Palace of Cups basically encompasses the whole cup suit. This is about ultimate happiness. This is about our own cups. This is about all of our cups running over in life. Battle. It's been a battle. Being happy has been a battle. So I feel like people have really had to go through the ringer emotionally, you guys, in order to get to the point where they're at today. What hasn't killed you has made you stronger in this connection, and that's just a part of your lesson and ascension process with it. Let's get the energy here of scandal. I almost feel for some of you, just because that hair fence here, that there may have been some sort of an affair. That doesn't, that's not going to resonate with everybody, but there could have been some sort of an affair, a, a cheating, um, you know, lying, deception, something like that. Could have been. And we have the seven of cups. 
So the Seven of Cups is fantasy. The Seven of Cups is being unclear about what we want. Somebody not wanting to be able or couldn't can't settle down. Being in a fantasy land about a particular person or situation. A lot of emotional energy is coming through here. Scandal. Sometimes we can get caught up in scandals because we're wearing rose-colored glasses. We're we're living in a fantasy. We're not really um, living in reality. We've gotten caught up with how we feel about someone. We've seen somebody through rose-colored gra glasses rather than seeing something for how it really was. It doesn't mean that things are false, but it just means we've gotten caught up somewhere. So I do feel like there has there has to be or there there was an important lesson that was learned in regards to making decisions that we felt were going to make us happy. But in the end, it's kind of like everything may have fallen apart. But sometimes things have to fall apart, apart in order to fall into place. So again, what hasn't killed you has made you stronger. And I'm also getting that maybe your person has had to go through some sort of major scandal and major just choices that they've made fall on their face in order to figure out what's going to make them happy. But all I know is that this Queen of Wands in this reading here today really has learned some sort of major lesson when it comes to her own energy and the decisions that she's made. She's owning her part. She's owning what's happened. She's not blaming anybody else anymore. She is taking responsibility for her own happiness. And that was half the battle. That was half the battle right there. So those are the energies for that. So now let's take a look and get the energy here of what is the current vibration that is connecting you and your person this week, okay? So we're gonna go into my spirits of darkness and light, and we're gonna clarify with my tarot. Okay, so we have the feminine spirit. So, you know, the feminine is coming through very strong in this reading, you guys. It's just being confirmed right here. Didn't even have to draw, it's just falling out already. Because spirit has something to say in regards to the feminine in this reading. The feminine has had to go through something major. The feminine is drawing to her her desires and what it is that she wants for a change instead of more of what she don't doesn't want. So what is the current vibration and energy that is connecting you this week to each other? The feminine is strong. What the feminine wants, what the feminine is creating is being felt. Let's clarify what this energy is. Uh-huh. Look at that. <laughs> Somebody is really thinking about the feminine this week. I am telling you, there's a lot of tele telepathic communication going on, a lot of thinking, a lot of attractive energy that's you know made towards the feminine. It's almost like the feminine intuitively knows that this is what's happening with her masculine, if that makes sense. She knows that the masculine's thinking about her. She feels it. Remember, you guys, the high priestess also came up in this reading. That's also a very feminine energy, receptive and intuitive energy, all-knowing, just an inner knowingness. She doesn't really have to say anything. Her energy says it all. Her energy is communicating with her masculine this week. And it's looking really good. <laughs> it's looking really good, you guys. So whatever it is that you guys are doing, keep doing it because it's freaking working in your favor. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go into the most important thing that Spirit wants you to know this week about this connection. What is the most important thing that Spirit wants you to know about this connection this week? Let's take a look. Okay. Hey, if you had any questions on whether or not this person is attracted to you, then I hope this reading clears it up. It's very much of mutual energy here. This person is really feeling insanely attracted to you this week. Doesn't guarantee that they're going to make any moves. It doesn't guarantee what's going to happen. But this is definitely an energy that's saying something is uh, something is being felt this week, and it's very fiery and it's very passionate. A lot of chemistry, a lot of vibrations here. That is what I am seeing here. Okay, so let's now go ahead and get this energy here of, um, uh, okay, so that's the most important thing the spirit wants you to know for whatever reason. Let's get, let's get a message with the upcoming energy. So what are some possible upcoming energies? So we're going to use this deck again for the future. What is a view of the upcoming energies? We have the hanged man. So future, you will discover strength within. So 
the fact that we already had the high priestess that came up now the hanged man is coming through okay you know in tarot the major arcana especially it does have like little divine counterparts and sometimes you can see little couples here the the high priestess is a feminine energy that goes within the hanged man man masculine energy is somebody who also goes within so there's a little bit of a match here so i feel like both people are really going within in order to discover something about themselves there is a desire to want to go towards this connection um, but something maybe more needs to be discovered um, on an internal level before making any kind of major decisions so let's get another energy here with this tarot there's an energy with this tarot what's going to be discovered within perhaps queen of coins queen of coins is a card of value a feminine who values herself this could also be a masculine that is thinking about this feminine and really seeing her value so i feel like this masculine in the future so this upcoming energy is he's going with end and he might be finding the strength in in order to face this queen of pentacles which is a very valuable feminine a feminine that is basically not going to accept less She's not going to settle. This masculine knows that this feminine is no longer going to settle. So he's got to, he's got to level up is what I'm getting here. So let's get one last message. He's got to level up. Wow. He will be back. Trust to know he will return. Guys, this particular deck says he doesn't say they, it says he. So masculine energy is seeing the pen, uh, the, the feminine's, um, feminine's value this week. This is somebody who may be back in your life in the future. And it's after a period of time where somebody had to go within and withdraw. Maybe a separation was necessary in order for somebody to really see your value. So we're going to go into these cards here and get uh, maybe some letters or numbers here to clarify some information. This could be numbers that are significant to this connection letters of names initials things like that we're going to just draw three we have d we have r so that's doctor could be and we have l ldr so that could be significant for somebody out there so just take what resonates for you. Now we're going to go ahead and close up this portion of the reading with some messages from your guides and your angels. I'm having a hell of a time picking anything up with these nails. <laughs> okay. Sign from above. So we've got guardian angels that are telling you, look out for the signs. There's signs and synchronicities that are going to be significant perhaps this week or from here on out in the future that are going to either clarify when this is going to happen or, um, you know, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Left, right. I don't know. I'm just getting that too. Lessons and blessings. So we did very well get in this reading that there were certain necessary lessons that had to be gone through in order for people to really just come full circle with something. And you may not have been able to see the blessings in those lessons, but maybe you're starting to see them now. So Spirit's saying that everything had to happen for a particular reason. Last message. We have unlikely so that's kind of an interesting energy so i need to clarify this because that's kind of throwing me for a loop we've got yes we've got a lot of energy here that something is happening so unlikely what does this energy mean what does unlikely mean okay so what i'm getting here it might be unlikely that this is going to happen immediately 
because the ace means right now like number one something's happening something's being offered right this second i feel like there's going to be a little bit of time i feel that's also why the hanged man came through is just to kind of remind some of you that if this is something that you're waiting to happen right away or immediately it may not happen right now it might not be happening tomorrow so just try to keep that in, in mind try to still can try to still um consider and to apply the lessons of everything that's happening um, still try to do what you can in order to continuously ascend on your own journey and your own personal healing etc okay so i just feel like maybe it's unlikely that it's not going to happen tomorrow maybe it's not going to happen next week but this is definitely someone that's coming through and saying they will be back. So you've got to trust and have faith and know that what's meant for you is going to become in alignment with you. Love it. All right, you guys. So that was for number one. Let's go ahead and go into number two. All right, you guys. So for those of you that chose number two, this mystic moon nude, let's go ahead and get your messages. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to focus on the main energy of this connection this week. What is the main connection this week? Main energy of this connection this week. Let's take a look. Andy, we have joyous love. Okay, so there could be just a lot of energy of joy this week. It does come with the number 11 here. So some of you guys might be seeing the number 11 a lot this week. That's just really just kind of clarifying for you that you're in high vibrational energy with this connection. Okay, maybe you're deriving a lot of joy from this connection this week. Let's go ahead and clarify why this will be a joyous love. Wow, Four of Cups. Um, what I'm getting here is that you're able to see the blessing. You may not have this connection in your life. You may be in separation with this person, but you're still able to enjoy yourself. You're still able to basically see the bigger picture. I do see the Four of Cups as a card of really looking at the bigger picture. You're not able to really take what's in front of you. There's a higher purpose. There's a higher reason for this. So I feel like this connection, the vibration of this connection this week is both people are seeing that certain things are happening for a particular reason and they're still able to joyously move forward with their lives even if it's not together at this time that's what i see so that's beautiful so now let's take a look and get the past energy that might still be affecting this connection what's the past energy that might still be affecting this connection we have the hierophant a misunderstanding of intention so there could have been a misunderstanding. Um, I'm just got, this is what the clarification is coming to me right in this moment. You may have looked at this person as rejecting you because they didn't care about you because you weren't good enough, whatever. I'm getting that that's not the case. That's not what it is. There's something much deeper going on here. There's a much deeper spiritual lesson at hand here. The Hierophant, whenever it, it whenever it, is um, representing a connection it's a spiritual connection number one also had the hierophant so spiritual connections are already coming through for the for this reading today so you're, there's a spiritual lesson here there's something to be understood some sort of a lesson to be taught and just basically understood when it comes to this particular connection so it's about finding the finding the joy finding the blessing in this connection rather than focusing on what was lost or what happened so it's just a misunderstanding of someone's intentions you may not have gotten an explanation from this individual as to why they walked away or why they just decided to pass on this connection whatever has happened here and you may have told yourself all kinds of stories as to why this happened and um, maybe these stories over a period of time have really robbed you of your joy. But I am getting the vibration this week is that maybe you have finally learned how to come to terms and peace with what's happened here. And you're starting to see things from a higher spiritual perspective. It's beautiful. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the energies of the present. So where is your person presently at in general at this time? We have them coming through as the king of wands. Where is your energy at at present? Just in general, the person watching this video. 
we have the hermit's energy okay so what i'm getting from this it says the present uh, prepare for battle against enemies so this king of wands may be in this energy where they're really needing to fight for something they may need to be fighting for um you know something going on in their career maybe there's a lot of competition maybe they're wanting to ma make some major changes in their lives etc so they're having to really stand up for themselves and fight for something it's kind of like an emperor's energy to me for you, person watching this video, it says potential lack of self-awareness. So the thing is you're trying to gain some sort of awareness. You're still learning. So that Hierophant's energy that just came through earlier, you're still trying to derive the higher message here. You're still trying to see the, you're trying to still like obtain the lesson. You haven't quite gotten it all figured out yet, but you're still on a journey when it comes to this particular connection you're still trying to find the answers as to why you're still connected to this person after this period of time um, when you maybe haven't spoken to them or seen them in a very long time so you're still trying to drive the lesson you're, you're still searching you're still soul searching you're still going within yourself so let's now get the energy that they have specifically towards you at this particular time what is this person what is your person feeling towards you at this particular time Okay, so what's going on when they think about you at this particular time? What's going on in their headspace? Okay, we have the energy of shadow. What about their emotions? We have barrier. What about this energy here of the outside world influencing the situation? And what about their overall energy towards you? If I can pick up this card, I want this card here. There we go. Divine timing. We're going to clarify some of this energy. We have shadow. Your person may still be in some sort of a negative vibration when it comes to you in this connection. That might be one of the reasons why their overall energy at this time is preparing to battle against enemies. They might see you as somebody who is someone that maybe looks at them as an enemy because of what's gone down in the past, the misunderstanding that the two of you had together. That's what I'm getting here right off the bat. So for me, this tells me that they might be in their shadows. They might be in their ego. They might be in that energy where they're not able to really see clarity at this particular time. Yeah, see the, the justice, the injustice is what I'm getting here. So the injustice is what's happened here is really getting to them. They're really trying to figure out how to make these wrongs right. Your person may want to apologize to you is what I'm getting as well. They've gone through some sort of major dark night of the soul with that shadow work. They've really faced something. Now, they're trying to prepare to battle against enemies, as in maybe they've made an enemy with you. Maybe they have created you to look at them and you know not be able to trust them or you look at them as a bad person i'm seeing this and you've been on a journey on trying to figure out you know how do you forgive this person for what's happened so i feel like they're really thinking about this connection this week your connection your contract the past with that four of cups energy this missed opportunity this opportunity that you guys had to be joyous Okay. You guys could have come together and had been joyous at one time and something happened here. Something happened perhaps to really, you know, this misunderstanding. Somebody's intentions were misunderstood. They didn't intend to hurt you, but they did is what I'm getting here. And so it may have been very difficult for you to really try to figure out why this happened. You may still not have closure to this day. So I feel like they're thinking about that this week. They're trying to come to terms. I'm also getting karma. Justice is about karma. This person may have gotten some sort of karma dealt to them. So it's really caused them to think about all the people that they've done wrong. And you're one of them. Uh-huh. That's what I'm getting. So we have emotions. They feel blocked. Why do they feel blocked? Did you block them perhaps? Or they just feel like they're still, you know, putting that barrier up in their heart space for whatever reason. 
Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles balancing act. I feel like your person is still not ready to open themselves up 100%. Even though they might have been um, might have been given or dealt some sort of karmic blow, they're still not quite ready to basically open themselves up and be vulnerable. The King of Wands can sometimes be egotistical. Somebody who wants to appear like they have it all together, which is why this person is preparing to battle against their enemies. So if somebody's preparing to battle, that means to me that they're not willing to let their their guard down to put their their armor down to be vulnerable so we have balancing act this person might be going back and forth with how they feel can can they let their guard down or should they just keep their ego intact it's safer that way so i feel like your person really bat battles with their heart and their head we have tribe. So the people that are surrounding them right now have a real heavy influence on them. Okay. Real heavy influence on them right now. Ace of Wands. Uh, they could be a very creative person or really be experiencing a lot of exciting times and creative energy with the people that are around them. So I feel like your person here, you know, it's not like they're miserable, even though they do have that shadow energy here. But remember, that's when they think about you and this connection. They think about what went wrong. They think about how maybe they're blocked and, you know, they just, they're confused. They don't know if they can really come towards you and make amends, but they might be thinking about it. But uh, what I am getting here, their overall energy, is that they might just be in a state of joy, just really having a good time celebrating something in their life. And so they're in a good energy, but also they're in a dark energy with you. So it's very back, back and forth. That's two of pentacles, back and forth. Sometimes they feel good and other times they don't. So I do feel like this week with the joyous energy that they're in a joyous vibration with you because they might be feeling really good right now. But when they really, really think about this connection, they do think about this major energy of something that happened in the past. That's what I'm seeing here. So what is their overall energy? We have divine timing. Overall energy towards you. Divine timing. Yeah, Ace of Cups. I feel like this person may be taking time for themselves with those aces. Really taking some time out to really face their darkness, to really face their shadows, to really love themselves. I do see the Ace of Cups as a spiritual initiation. The bottom of the deck here is universal alignment, the star, healing, spirituality. So I do feel like maybe somebody's going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Maybe they're starting to see things from new perspectives, but they're not ready. They're not ready to make any huge moves towards you at this time. They still have armor around them themselves, but they do think about you in this connection. And when they do, they are thinking about what they did. They are thinking about something that went wrong, but they're not quite ready to either make amends or to heal this just yet. But the universe, I feel, with being at the bottom of the deck, is trying to help to align the two of you to get that closure and to get that healing that maybe you both need. Okay, so let's get their, um, their higher self message to you. So deep down inside, to the pits of their soul, what does this energy look like? What do they want to tell you? I will communicate my truth to you soon. I am considering the best way to approach you. Oh my God. <laughs> With everything that we just talked about, are you freaking kidding me right now? That couldn't have been more perfect. See, your person does think about you and they do think about offering their truth to you, but they're not sure how to approach you because their guard is up. They may, they may not be able to let their, their ego down. They may be afraid to be rejected by you. They may be afraid of how things could possibly go because of what's happened already. But it's saying, I will communicate my truth to you soon, but I'm just considering the best approach to take. So I feel like with that King of Wands energy, with their present energy, they, they want to make sure that they feel good enough to come towards you so they're not completely obliterated if you're just like, no. So that's what I see. I, I feel like they, they just don't have... They don't have all of that. They don't have all of their strength on reserve just yet to do it, to face you. So let's now get into the energy here of the current lessons of ascension that are taking place. So let's get the overall energy here. What is the overall energy for current lessons? 
for the current lessons of this connection currently. We have sweetness. It says, patience is now required. Relax and enjoy the sweetness of life, yet let the universe take care of the details. You know, I'm really feeling that, you guys, with the divine timing card and the joyous, this makes sense to me, just being in the energy of sweetness and joy, just really trying to tap into the good times and the good energy of this connection. Maybe it's only natural to think about all of the bad, think about all the negative things. And it doesn't mean that they don't exist because they do. There's obviously reasons why there's a lot of shadows here. There's, there, there's obviously a reason why we have felt certain things. But the best thing I feel that we can possibly do is to try to, to get to a good place with this energy rather than being in a negative vibration with it, okay? Because it's, it's kind of like you think about this person, you feel this person's energy. Why not make it a good thing? Why, why make it a burden? Why carry around this burden, right? So let's go ahead and get some specifics of lessons. We have a stranger. We have ending. Wow. Okay. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. And we have new beginnings. I almost feel like you guys thought you knew this person and when whatever happened happened, it was just like, it was such a shock. It was such a shock because you just never saw it coming. It was almost like you didn't even know them. They were one way with you. And then all of a sudden it was just like, you just, you never knew this person that at least that's how you felt. You felt like you never knew this person. And then it ended. That's where the pain was. Remember those intentions that were misunderstood. That, that came through in the past, misunderstood. So the stranger, what does the stranger have to do with? I almost feel like this is about finding yourself as well. So somebody didn't really know who they were. They didn't know what they wanted. They might also be an energy that somebody that just doesn't ever reveal who they truly are with anybody. That person is holding a cup, I believe. Looks like they're holding something. Looks like a cup to me. So I just feel like that's significant. Even if it's not a cup, it doesn't matter. Again, I feel like this person is working on their own cup of love right now, finding themselves. So until they know who they are, then they can't really truly reveal themselves to you or anyone else. Yeah, three of coins. Um, I feel like this person is uh, finding themselves through working on, like working on themselves or working in the material world. So they might just find a lot of value and satisfaction when it comes to their work. Taking great joy in their work is what I'm getting here. This helps them to find themselves. It helps them to explore, you know, who they really are and what they really want. Um, I'm also getting to that this is something that you've been forced to do. This connection, whatever happened here, forced you to have to work on yourself. That's what I'm getting here. And it happened to both of you. Something happened for the both of you to work on aspects of yourselves that were necessary. So it's a, it was a necessary ending is what I'm getting here. Yeah, look, three of wands. So a lot of threes energy coming through here. If you guys are seeing three, three, three angel numbers and threes, I am getting here that there's something significant here, a significant message to look that up, but ending threes one day. So I feel like this is something that had to, somebody had to go away. Somebody had to go away to find themselves. There may be a return later on. So now we have the energy of new beginning. It's like a baby. Wow. We have 10 of cups, you guys. So I feel like with this particular connection, as badly as it may went and may have gone in the past, I feel like there perhaps is some sort of an energy where maybe in your later years, you do end up together. Could be for some of you. It could be that you feel this amazing connection with this person because there's like a soulmate connection. There's a bond here. There's an energy here where you just feel like you belong with this person. I'm also getting that there's an energy here that they may feel that way with you too, but something has taken them, taken them away from this 10 of cups energy. You know, they may have not known how to open themselves up to it. They may not have known how to be happy. So maybe they've sabotaged this, but that's why you remain connected to them is because you have felt this energy. So spirit is saying here from an ending comes a new beginning, death, rebirth, transformation. Somebody had to go through something in order to get to the 10 of cups. So it's possible. 
So all of this has happened for a reason. People have had to separate and go away in order to return perhaps one day to deliver that 10 of cups. But until they find themselves, then that 10 of cups just isn't possible. So it's up to us to find the sweetness in our own lives rather than waiting for this person to deliver it. That's a message. Okay, so what is the current vibration um, that connects the two of you this week? What is the current vibration that connects you and your person this week? Current vibration that connects you and your person this week. We have the spirit of the castle, fortress, rescue, imprisonment. Interesting. Okay, so there's an energy here. I feel like maybe somebody waiting for somebody to return, rescue them. Somebody feels trapped. Somebody might feel trapped. Let's clarify the spirit of the castle. Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like um, because of this Eight of Cups, somebody had to walk away. Somebody had to evolve. Um, it, it's almost like it imprisoned somebody. Somebody was not able to gain any closure. Somebody was not able to move forward. So I do still feel like there's this separation and people are still bound even in this separation. They still haven't really been able to shake it. So this is an energy that connects the both of you guys, even though you guys have separated and have and are currently working on yourselves to evolve, people still feel like there's a fortress in their heart that they're still hold they're still holding on to this. The the car or the, the message that's coming up here, and this is of course a song that I really like. It's from Sting, and I think it's called Fortress Around Your Heart. I think that's what it's called. Maybe yeah, like you know, and, and he talks about how he has created some sort of an issue between him and his person and he knows that he did this to her and so he's not sure if she's ever going to be able to forgive him so the reason i'm mentioning this you guys is because there could be a special message or some sort of words in that song that really resonate with your situation number two could be um yeah and and the thing in the song he talks about the landmines that he laid and so now he's walking across this field and he's and he's trying to avoid stepping on all these line landmines that he laid in order to protect himself from feeling this connection with this person and so now he wants to make amends but this person may hate him so you guys gotta listen to that song it's on my uh I think it's on my Twin Flame Melodies playlist. So yeah, that's really, really interesting stuff. So the energy that connects the two of you is that people have changed and there has been separation, but people are still imprisoned by what's happened here. Neither one of them have been able to completely shake what's happened here. People do want to be rescued from this connection, meaning like they don't want to feel this heaviness anymore. Neither one of you want to feel it. You guys both feel it. Neither one of you want to feel it anymore. You feel like it's a fortress though. Like I've got to protect myself against it. I love you, but I hate you. I love you. I hate you. That's kind of coming through. Wow. That's intense. Okay. So what's the most important thing that spirit wants you to know right now about this connection? Let's take a look. Most important thing spirit wants you to know about this connection. Everything happens for a reason. Exactly. It's been coming through this entire reading. You guys had to separate for, for some sort of higher purpose. Some higher purpose has been served or is being served currently. So major spiritual lesson here with this one, you guys, for sure. Okay. So what is a possible um, energy that's coming into the future? What are possible upcoming energies in this, in this connection? So we're going to look at the future. Possible future energies in this connection. Let's take a look. We have the sun. Peace and goodness will arrive. Fantastic. I mean, this is about feeling good, feeling positive, staying in that joyous love energy. So even if you never see this person again, I hate to put it out there like this, but even if you never see this person again, I do feel like the two of you are going to find a way to make peace with it. I really do. Some of you guys may be able to make this peace together as in you see one another, but some of you guys may not have the opportunity. Not all of us have the same, same destiny. Not all of us have the same opportunities to be able to do that. Some people do not have the opportunities or don't make those opportunities in this life. We all have free will. So people's choices do dictate what's going to happen and what's not going to happen. So that is an up, po upcoming possibility. We do have sun. The sun also is growth. It's happiness. It's joy. So it could happen. What else?
with commitment. Your relationship could move to the next stage of love and unity. Now, we did get the Ten of Cups already in this connection. It's possible. There is possible for the two of you guys to reestablish this connection. Maybe take it to the next level. Okay? Absolutely. But peace and goodness are going to arrive. So let me get one last clarification here. Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is somebody who is uh, kind of guarded, somebody who is not maybe willing perhaps to put her heart on the line again. So I do feel like what Spirit is trying to say at the very end of this reading is that this Queen of Swords, which could be you, you guys, you could make the decision to basically block this from happening, as in it's too much, can't handle it. I don't want this. I have something else. I want something else. I want to go in another direction. So that's always spirits reminding you that you do have the free will to make your own choices. Because sometimes I do these readings and what I hear in the comments is I don't want this person back. And I'm thinking to myself, then why the hell are you watching the reading? But you know, whatever. But that could be some of you. Some of you guys may not want this person back in your physical life. I get it. Maybe you already have something great going on. You don't need this freaking person, but you still feel this connection. And you're still trying to figure out why do I feel this connection still? What do I have to learn from it? I totally resonate with that. So the, the thing is, you don't have to want this person back in your life. You don't have to have them back in your life. Even if they were to come back into your life, like a freaking miracle, magic, you still have the ability and free will to say, mm, you know what? Nah, this didn't happen for a reason back then. I'm still going to block it. I'm not interested. I'm happy now. I don't, I don't need this connection. But thanks, the apology, the apology has uh, helped bring me closure. Thank you very much. And wish them well, and you guys go on your own merry way. That could literally happen, is what I'm getting here, okay? It could. So, but everything happens for a reason. So this could either, either lead to a commitment and coming together, but you're going to be much smarter next time. You're not, you're not going to just you're just going to be a lot more practical and rational with this connection. You're not going to just fall on your knees, maybe like last time. Or you could just say, no, it's simply up to you is what I'm getting here at the very end of this one, you guys. So let's go ahead and get some letters here that could be significant or numbers. We have two. We have K, K2, 2K. It's <laughs> interesting. Like 2000. And we have M, MK. That's interesting. KM. So for whatever reason, those could be significant um, letters or initials or a number that's coming through you guys could be something significant. So let's grab some angel messages to end this reading. What do we got? What does spirit want number two people to know at the very end here? Detach from drama. So anything that is bringing you drama, queen of swords, you can take that sword and cut anything out that doesn't serve you. Again, that free will choice. If this is too dramatic, too draining for you, you can't deal with it, it's too much, you don't have to take it. You don't have to do anything. Yep, boundaries, caution. Again, if you feel like you need to protect yourself from this, something you just can't deal with, Again, that's your prerogative, your free will. Absolutely. But I do feel like if some of you want this connection, you're just going to be putting up firmer boundaries. You're not the same person that you were before. Maybe you have detached from your own dramatics. Maybe some of you before when you came together with this individual, maybe you were just in an energy field that was kind of it was just different. Maybe it was lower vibrational. Maybe you had a lot of issues, a lot of problems, a lot of baggage. We all do, right? But then we change. We detach from things that no longer serve. This could be old attitude, old pride, old ego, things that just were not serving you. So you've really done your work and you've created these new boundaries and now you're ready. 
that could also be another message with this reading. It doesn't have to be like you're done and this is over. It doesn't have to be that way unless that's how you want it to be. Last message. We have come out of the closet. So come out of the closet is really coming out of hiding. Okay, coming out of hiding. You're ready to be authentic. You're no longer afraid. The, I'm also getting the song to Not Afraid Anymore by Halsey. Okay, so for some reason, two songs came up in this particular reading today. I'm not afraid anymore. So, yep, I'm a queen of swords now. I'm a badass bitch. I'm not afraid of you. Bring it. So that's kind of what I'm getting to. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed the reading this week. And if you didn't resonate with this, you can always choose number one or three. So let's go on into number three. All right, you guys, so if you chose number three, the Citrine Nude, Goddess Lakshmi, I swear to God, I'm, I'm having a really hard time. It's a tongue twister saying that, but uh, let's get ahead or go ahead and get into your messages. So let's get the main energy of your connection this week with your person. Main energy with you and your person this week. Okay, so we have unrequited. So to me, this is a, a, an energy that says that neither of you, neither you or your person can let this connection go. It's unrequited. It's just something that just keeps popping up over and over again. Can't let it go. So let's go ahead and clarify with some tarot. What is this energy here of unrequited? Why is it unrequited this week? Ace of Swords, because we're thinking about it, because we still haven't gotten the clarity. So I feel like you guys haven't either gotten closure, or there's been no communication, or you finally have gotten clarity about something, or you're trying to figure out something. So I feel like there's a lot of different energy. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify a little bit more with that Ace of Swords energy. Oh, wow, Five of Swords, yeah. The Five of Swords, to me, is a card of battle. It's a card of people that had an issue. So I just feel like there's unfinished business here. This is why neither one of you can let it go, okay? Because usually unrequited means someone's into it and the other person is it. Not what I got. What I got is that there was two, there's two people that have battled it out and they haven't gained the clarity or the closure that they've both been looking for. So this is why it's still connecting the both of you. This is why you guys are in this energy this week. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the judgment card here. And this just means that some kind of decision final decision, you know, kind of doomsday. This is about reflecting on the past and really making amends. It hasn't happened yet. So that's why both of you guys are still in this very stuck energy with this connection. That's what I get. So now let's go into the past energies that are affecting things still. Past energy that is affecting things still. We have the king of pentacles. It says, had been fixated on acquiring riches. So what I want to tell you guys, God, this is making so much sense, always with number three. Okay, so you could be like, this could be an earth sign person. Um, I just want to throw that out there, but this is an energy here that says somebody that was fixated on acquiring riches. You could have been dealing with somebody that didn't feel good enough for you, right? <laughs> you could have been dealing with that. This could be somebody that just doesn't feel good enough in their financial empire, this could be somebody who was too focused in the material world. They were too focused on money. And so this has affected the situation. Um, I do see the Five of Swords as a major ego card, mind games. Somebody who's basically just kind of acting out of their, their own just insufficiencies, their own insecurities. So what? So how it comes across is can even sometimes be abusive. And not that that's okay, but it's kind of like somebody is lashing out at somebody else because they don't feel good about themselves. That's literally the energy. So this is creating all kinds of conflict. This could, of course, be your energy as well. Maybe you were too focused on acquiring riches. Maybe you had too many expectations and this person picked up on it. Who knows? But there's definitely an energy here where neither one of you have been able to gain any kind of closure. And so you guys are both still hanging on to this energy here. Still confused by it. Still not able to perhaps have conversations to work things through. So let's get your person's overall energy at this present time. So th these cards are cool. It says past, present, future. So I just read the past on that one. Now let's read the present for your person. What is their overall energy? 
Okay, so we have struggling to repair a relationship. Hello. <laughs> struggling to repair this relationship with you. Struggling perhaps to bring you Ace of Swords, which is communication and truth. So they're struggling right now with coming to terms with something, how they're going to do this, how they're going to apologize. That judgment card, whenever it pops up for me in a reading, is somebody who does need to apologize for the error of their ways. There's some sort of cycle that needs to be kind of broken and um, cleared up, and somebody is holding it up. So it could be your person. could be something to do with you too, but I really feel like it's more them. What is the energy here? And I get king, so it could be a masculine if you're a feminine watching the video. Um, let's take a look and see what is your present energy. Look at you, Knight of Cups, adding imagination to a relationship. Okay, so what I'm getting here is you're just adding energy to your cup. So I feel like the cups energy, of course, is clarifying here that both of you guys are very emotional this week, very much in your emotions this week. The present though for you, person watching the video, is that you're imagining how you would like this relationship to be. So you could be doing a lot of creative visualization. You could be really thinking in terms of very um, high vibrational thoughts when it comes to this person, sending a lot of positive vibes their way. Maybe deep down inside, you know that this person is struggling with their truth, struggling to basically get out of their ego. So you might be trying to assist them spiritually. You might be trying to send them a lot of uh, beautiful energy this week, trying to help them to basically break this barrier that's existing between the two of you. It's actually quite beautiful, really beautiful energy. So let's now get into the energy here of how they feel towards you specifically. We're going to get these specifics. When they think about you, what does this energy look like? When they think about you, what does this energy look like? Okay, so they're still in this energy here of hiding from it, hiding from you, hiding from saying something. Maybe they're just checking you out on social media rather than actually making any contact with you. They're looking through a mask, though. They're still not ready to take that mask off and just admit something. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Still in that defense mechanism. Seven of Wands energy. Still not quite ready to let their defenses down or take off that mask. They're still masking something. That's why they're struggling with something still when it comes to you and this connection. They may not have been able to admit to themselves that maybe they have created some sort of an issue here. They may not be willing to clean up their side of the street. They may still be projecting or blaming you for something. That's kind of interesting. So what about their heart space, their emotions? Okay, so yeah, we do have the divine masculine coming through. So I'm getting very heavily that we are dealing with the masculine here. Heart space of the masculine, his emotions here. Yeah, see? Shackled, imprisoned by what he is feeling. He has not been able to break free from this connection with you. That is what I am seeing here. Can't break it. Because there's still something that he's hiding from. So energetically, he's not going to be able to break away from this connection with you is because he's not facing something. This is on the bottom of the deck. Still some sort of crappy, crappy energy, addiction, ego, just something that he's still not willing to face. Some sort of um, something within him, some toxic behavior he's still not willing to part with. Doesn't mean he can't. It just means that he's really struggling this week. What about his outer circumstances? Yeah, inner child. I feel like his childhood and his upbringing has had a lot to do with how he is. This could be parents that are still enabling him. With the devil's energy, I always think about codependency and upbringing. The fact that inner child is coming through. This is somebody who's still acting like a child. This is somebody who is still, again, not willing to act like an adult, be the masculine that they need to be in order to take control and responsibility for their actions. So you're definitely dealing with somebody who is really struggling right now. They're really struggling. And that's probably why you're sending them a lot of love and light is because you know that they're struggling. Three of Pentacles. I love this. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is other people, other people in our environment, people that we're working with. So there could be somebody that is around them right now that is helping them to face their issues, but I do get more of an energy where there's people that are basically um, enabling this person to remain stuck, to remain a child, to remain in this 
you know, not taking responsibility, blaming everybody else for their issues and problems. So they've still got some work to do. What about their overall energy towards you at this particular time? See, we got a divine feminine and a divine masculine. So this is just confirming here that there is a soul connection here. They see you as the ultimate feminine in their life. Uh-huh, King of Cups. But the thing is, is that they know that they have to level up in order to be with you. They've got to, they've got to jump into that King of Cups energy, you know, emotionally master themselves. And um, it doesn't mean that they can't. It just means that they're really struggling to do that right now. Absolutely. They're really struggling on how to be a stronger person in order to be with you. So, but how they feel about you, deep down inside, this person really, really cares. Deep down inside, you have rocked their world. You have changed them um, on a very significant level, whether they ever admit that to you or not. You're a very important person in their life when it comes to helping them to grow and change to be a better human being in this life. It's beautiful. So your person, I feel, I feel like overall is just challenged by what they're feeling towards you at this time. So let's now get into the energy here of uh, what is a higher self message that they want to bring to you? Okay, so if they could say anything to you right now from the depths of their soul, what would it be? Thank you for always believing in me with your love. Nobody can get me down. I look at everything you send me and I'm doing the inner work. Whoa. Huh. Um, I do get this feeling here with number three, you guys, that you are sending your person love. You may have had to cut them off. You may have had to stop speaking to them, but you know it was for their own good. And you may have done it in a very loving way. Maybe before when you've disconnected from them, maybe it has been in Five of Swords energy. It could be Five of Swords energy still, but your energy towards them, I feel is actually really positive and love and light, unconditional love. So this is a vibration that's actually helping them. So you're helping your person with the energy that you're sending them. They feel the love that you're sending them. And even though they're struggling it is helping them to do the inner work that they know that they need to do. So there is the possibility that your person is starting to see the error of their ways. They may not be able to completely absorb that energy, but it is possible. Anything is possible with love. So that's amazing messages right there. So what is the current lessons for Ascension that are taking place at this particular time? We have meditation. Okay, so quiet reflection allows you to discover and your soul answers that you're seeking. So you and your person may be spending a lot of time being alone. Maybe meditation to you, it's not necessarily sitting there in silence. Maybe it's about traveling. Maybe it's about going around and just kind of sightseeing, things like that. Maybe there's an energy where, you know, it's just about hanging out with family and friends or you know, taking a bath, the spa day, spending time with your pets. I mean, meditation doesn't have to be just sitting there, you know, in that uh, position. It's about taking time to reflect, doing things that you enjoy, things that bring you joy. So this right here is an energy here where maybe you guys have been forced to go into like a separation in order to be able to go within to get the answers that you're seeking. So that's what I get for this. So the current lessons is that we must consult the, we must consult the person within. Sometimes we're not going to get the answers or clarity that we're seeking from another person. So it does force us to go within for those answers. Sometimes the less that people are saying, the more that you're connected to their truth rather than what they're saying. Because sometimes people are just saying things and they're not even connected to it. Sometimes people are just saying things to please you. Sometimes people aren't even in touch with their own truth to even know what the hell they mean. So sometimes less is more. Sometimes silence is golden, literally. So let's now grab another message here on some lessons. We have victory, we have forgiveness, and we have generosity. You know, I definitely feel a lot of um, beautiful energy with this one. Somebody has really learned that 
there you, you win and it's not about winning as in victory as in five of swords winning it's not a manipulative win it means that when you really learn to forgive and you really learn how to give unconditionally from your heart, that's the victory. And this has happened because somebody has really, really had a major shift in their spiritual journey. Definitely feeling that. You're experiencing a lot more victory because you've learned finally so much about true unconditional love through this person. They've really pushed you. They've really pushed you to have to go deeply within yourself, but you've done the work and now you're experiencing a lot more victory than you were before. Maybe with the energy that you were in before, you were just floundering, but like you finally stepped into your power and it's just amazing. All right, let's clarify victory. Hanged man, exactly. Less is more. You don't need things to happen in the physical world. You don't need things to move forward in order to have victory. You can have victory within yourself. Just because your connection may not be coming together in the physical world doesn't mean that it's unsuccessful. It doesn't mean that it means less because it may not be happening. You're able to just experience your own joy and your own peace right now by not even being with this person in the physical world. You're deriving the beauty of this connection, even not being presently connected to it in the physical, but you're energetically connected to it. Ah, oh, the nine of cups, ultimate happiness, total fulfillment, self-fulfillment through forgiveness. Whoever's watching number three, man, you have done your work. You've come a long way. And we have generosity, the devil. Wow, look at this, so the devil energy Remember, I turned the deck over and it was really connected to your person through these struggles. Like you're offering assistance to your person because you know that they've got a lot of broken energy. You know that they have a lot of toxic energy. And so you're holding space for this person while they heal. You're not looking at this person and judging them anymore. You're, you're, you're working on being understanding and loving them from afar and giving them the space that they need in order to heal. Damn, and this is just working out for you so much better than the energy that you were wasting your time in before. Look at you. So it's great. Really great energy. Love it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, let's now go ahead and go into the current vibrations and energies that are connecting you and your person this week. current energy vibration you guys are sharing this week. Okay, so we have the spirit of the flocks. So spirit of the flocks is information. I'm getting social media with this one, okay? Social media, gotta love it. Biggest trigger of the uh, <laughs> of this new generation. So what I'm getting for this is that um, there could be an energy here where you guys are seeing one another on social media and it could be something that causes some kind of a feeling to want to come out. So I'm going to take them. Oh, wow. Nine of cups and 10 of pentacles. So the nine of pentacle or the nine of cups is a card that was just, that just came up. And I really feel like the nine of cups has something to do with self-satisfaction, feeling really good, spending time alone and being okay with that. 10 of pentacles is a card of family. Ten of Pentacles is also security, financial security. So I feel like people are perhaps looking at one another and they're looking at one another and they're seeing how well this person is doing. Now you, the person that's watching this video, you deep down inside know that there's certain things that are going on with your individual. Doesn't mean that they're not having a good time. They could definitely be having a good time, but you know that there's some stuff going on deep beneath the surface. But why? Because you're energetically connected to them. That's why. And even though you're doing much better and you're, do you're doing very good, and even though you feel pretty complete on your own and you're feeling pretty satisfied and you're fulfilling your wishes and you're fulfilling your dreams, there might still be this energy to where you can get caught up with what if this person and I aren't going to what if this person and I aren't meant to be together? What if this person and I don't can't make it? What if something happens and I'm just single for the rest of my life? Or what if I miss my chance at having a family? So there's some sort of 
there's some sort of worry here. But I feel like your person also feels it with you too, because they know that they're in an energy where they want that deep down inside, even if they have said or are saying now that they don't want it, they want to be single for life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Single for life, um, you know, done with relationships, whatever kind of image they've tried to put out in the past, they're doing fine. They're, they're, they're fine to be alone you know deep down inside you can read between the lines that you know that this person wants what you want they want a commitment they want a family they 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 want the whole thing but there's this energy of knowing this but also fearing oh my god what if it doesn't happen so both of you guys i feel are a little not stressed out but you guys are both feeling somewhat insecure with the things that you guys are seeing about one another on social media and it could even just be a lack of what you're seeing. You just wonder, is this person happy without me? Somebody could also be feeling like, you know what? This person's probably better off without me because I can't give them what I want. So there's also that too, because we have rivals and rivals mean that maybe we're a little insecure or afraid that somebody else is going to come in and we're, and it's going to take away our opportunity to be with this individual. So I feel like it's coming from them and from you. It's right. It's both actually, it's both people feeling this. So for whatever reason, this kind of lower vibrational energy is also present, even though there's so much high vibe here, there's so much beautiful energy that you're sending to your individual. There's still this little bit of energy. And why? Because we're all made up of shadow and light. We can't always be perfect 24 seven. There's going to be very human emotions that pop up here and there, and you're meant to fill them, but we're not meant to dwell on them. So if there's anything triggering you or anything, maybe any behaviors that you're participating in, it could be to just kind of pull away from it this week. Maybe this is the week that you really don't want to be looking at your person on social media because it is Valentine's week. And who knows, maybe there could be some triggering bullshit. So let's now get into the energy here of what is the most important thing that spirit wants you to know about this connection this week? Someone in this connection is gripped by their obsessive thoughts. So I definitely feel like the person that you're watching this video for is in some very conflicting energy. You, who's ever watching this video, it doesn't mean that you can't be gripped by your obsessive thoughts about this person in the situation either. But I actually feel like it's more coming from them. They have not let you go. They can't let you go. You also can't let them go. And I feel like you have shifted into a different type of an energy that's actually very much more, much more positive and high vibrational for you. So it's brought you a lot more peace, but your person is still left kind of floundering. They haven't really done as much work as you've done. And so this energy, this connection is really gripping them. They keep thinking about it. They can't let it go. It really probably pisses them off that they can't let it go. But what it's doing is it's forcing them to have to do the work to get some sort of clarity, come to some sort of conclusion here. It's pushing them to do the work. So spirit is letting you know that this person is still gripped by their thoughts about you. And so if you feel this energy, it is about in a way, just kind of shielding yourself from the devil's energy because the devil's energy is present in this reading. You could, you could potentially go down that road again is what I'm getting. You could potentially go down that road again, where you're constantly thinking these things. You're, you're jacked up on social media. You're obsessively checking things. You're doing all kinds of things that probably aren't good for you. You could go down that road again. Absolutely. It's always there. It's always there, but maybe this time, or maybe at this point in your life, you're just no longer willing to ride that roller coaster anymore. Right? So avoid the triggers this week. <laughs> avoid the triggers this week is what I'm getting. So that is what I have. So let's get some, um, energies of the possible future. So what are some possible future energies on the horizon? Possible future energies on the horizon. 
you will find new confidence. Hey, this is fantastic. So this just means that people may be able to find and conjure up the strength that they're looking for in order to deal with and handle this situation. Okay. Maybe they don't have the strength and courage right now, but possibly in the future it can happen. Yep. Balance, fair and balanced energy, creating harmony for a strong future. What's interesting is that this card actually says the word future. So that's significant to me that people are going to be able to find new confidence to create harmony for a stronger future for this connection. So I do feel like things will not always be this way with this individual spirit. I want you to know that. Have faith that things can improve. Have faith that this masculine can bring you the clarity and take action towards bringing you communication and truth. That's the way it wants to come out at the very end, you guys. That's really amazing energy. I really like that a lot. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some um, numbers or letters here for you. We have E. We have the number one, or we could even see that as an I. And we have Y. Y, E, I. So that could be significant for whatever reason, you guys. That could be the first of, you know, some sort of day um, because, you know, all the days end with Y, right? Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, okay. I just had to make sure. <laughs> Um, it could be E, there could be something in regards to a holiday that starts with an E, could be Easter, it could be April 1st, something like that, okay? Could even be, I don't know. All I'm getting though is that you're going to know what these mean to you and if it doesn't make sense right now, it might make sense later on. That's what I'm getting here, it might make sense later on. So we're going to close up this reading with some messages from your guides and your angels. Messages from your guides and your angels at this particular time about your connection. Stand your ground. So this is the deal, you guys. I feel that whoever's watching this video, you are lovingly reestablishing boundaries. You are in the Queen of Swords energy, but it's a little bit more of a Queen of... It's like the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords to me it makes a beautiful combination of like a queen of wands. Queen of wands is somebody who's confident, they're bold, they're independent, they're strong, but they're not cold as ice like the queen of swords can sometimes be. They're at least still able to feel alive, blood still pumping through their veins. So they're still approachable. Queen of swords sometimes is not approachable. Queen of pentacles can sometimes be a little intimidating. So I feel like you guys have found a way to balance out your energies to where you have put up your boundaries and you have laid you know, different foundations this time around with your person, um, but you're still in this energy of being open to the connection and open to at least discussing things and you wouldn't cut this person off if they did come your way. So you're just reestablishing your ground. <clears throat> you can be strong and loving at the same time is what I'm getting from spirit. Uh -huh, look at this authority figures. You can still be in an energy of authority and be in charge and stand your ground, but there has to be some softness around the edges or your very fragile ego person that you're dealing with is not going to be able to come towards you if you're too hard. If you're tough as nails, it's not going to happen because you know that this person cannot handle that energy. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to step off of your throne and pussyfoot around and, you know, just kind of baby this person because that's not going to get you anywhere either. At some point, they're going to have to grow and they're going to have to level up. But make sure that your edges are not too rough. Make sure that you're not in this energy of it has to be this way or forget it. If you're too rigid in your standpoint with things, then things may be delayed even further than they already have. Throat chakra. Yeah, see, somebody wants to communicate. 
somebody wants to communicate. A lot of communication came through this reading. There's a lot of things that need to be said. A lot of things that need to be said. So it could be that spirit is telling you to prepare yourself for uh, prepare yourself for communication that's coming. Make sure that you stand your ground. But again, when it comes to this conversation, if you're too much in the energy of judging this person, because that right there is the energy of a judge, this person may feel like they don't even stand a chance with you. So there's no point of even coming towards you. So you do have to change your energy a little bit and finesse the situation a little bit. Queen of Wands kind of energy. You don't want to be too emotional. You don't want to be too hard. Queen of Wands energy somewhere there is where your vibration needs to be at. And what I do want to say is that with me saying this, I just realized that in number one, which could resonate with your situation, the Queen of Wands is getting everything that she wants right now in her connection. So there could be some special message in number one for you as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. All right, take care. Bye-bye.